guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on the YouTube account and we're going to be running through a lot of different formations, guys, when it comes to the Crimson Snow. So a lot of players having a incredible difficult time getting through here, getting through all of the stages. Um, we're going to go through some comps that are in a, a couple different varieties. So the first one we're going to be looking at, guys, is running the Awakened version of Brutus. So it is actually running Brutus with a couple of our dimensional heroes. So looking in here, guys, we're going to put Brutus in here. And as you can see, guys, you do get the heroes maxed out. This makes a game-changing difference in here. So it looks like we have Brutus, we have the Awakened version of Aziz, we have Frampton, and then we have the Awakened version of Solus. Now this one, very, 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 let me stress, very expensive to run. This is actually the pay-to-win formation that players have run through all first 15 stages with this formation. Now, again, there are some variations with this that we're going to look at. And I got the guide up over here. It's actually another Chinese guide that we were looking at. So this drops in a combination of a couple different heroes, which we know do incredibly well. First one, looking at Merlin, guys. Putting Merlin in the formation with Brutus. Of course, we have the mitigation in there. Running Albedo in the formation and then running Ezio. This is one of the more classic PvP formations that we've seen. If you've been playing for a little while, you should have absolutely no problem building this comp. The other one that we have is actually dropping out Ezio from this formation and putting in Yennefer. So if you were here in the recent um, the recent build of the Witcher Heroes, actually runs Brutus with, with uh, Joan of Arc in here. It runs Albedo on the top. And again, looking at it, Yennefer in the middle, and then it does run right there. It runs Merlin. This, again, is another team comp that you can run in here that goes through stage 1 through 15 as more of a free-to-play uh, free friendly account. Now, I'm going to drop out Yennefer in this one. I think I'm going to go with Merlin and the Ezio combination. You know what? Let's go ahead and run this, guys. I'm going to see how this works. And again, if you don't have some of these heroes, guys, um, there's going to be... A couple different formations that you're gonna have to try to fill in the heroes that you can. I know there are gonna be multiple attempts in here, but overall, Brutus in his utility, guys, is just super, super broken. We have kind of said that from the beginning, guys. This is going to one of these three formations will take you through the first 15 stages with little to no problem. So again, when you look at Merlin, you can actually get him out of the shop. When you look at Joan, you can get him out of the shop. Um, Albedo is still probably the best dimensional hero that we do have in here um, because of the boost that she does bring to other dimensional heroes, allowing you to actually go through here again incredibly well. And then, of course, we do have um, Yennefer in here, or you can put Ezio in here. Ezio, if you're a little bit of an older player, again, he was completely free to play. So this combination with these heroes and the ability to get, I mean, what, 80% of them free to play, short of the Awakened version of Brutus. But even if you have one single copy of the Awakened version of Brutus, guys, you will get him built out just like we have him here, which is very cool to see because you can also go in there if you do have any card cards, um, any timeout moments, you can go in there and you can do the same. Now looking at the pets, guys, Wing Lion like we have said before, guys, the Winged Lion is one of the highest by far utility pets that we have in AFK Arena, which is the reason why he is built out further than all of my other pets, is he is that strong, guys. He is a game changer when it comes to a lot of formations. Also looking at the Twisted Realm where we only utilize one single comp, um, you can run the Winged Lion, you can run him in a couple different formations but he is utilized a lot. So why are there poachers on this trip? Let's go get them, little one. And as you see here, going through all of these stages, we are just racking up a bunch of diamonds, every single one. Um, we'll go through after we clear this out. If we can clear this out, again, a lot of players have been saying this is incredibly difficult to get through, that some players can't get through stage, um, stage five, stage seven. Um, now, one thing to remember with this game mode particularly, um, it is very, or, or more late game, I would say um, late game, end game. Um, it is, again, a little bit more unforgiving. But if you do have these comps, and again, as you can see, we're just literally running through here. Even if you popped a different pet in there, the RNG factor would could and would um, 
win in a lot of these scenarios. Again, I'm just going with what they run, and they only run a level six wing lion. So again, not a super built out high level pet that we normally see, but wing lion at level six works incredibly well. You can also go in here and do like the grassy orb. The grassy orb will work as well in these formations, guys. It will still work with a bunch of these formations. And again, as we get a little bit further, you'll see that we're running a couple combinations with the grassy orb, but it's mainly just the dimensional heroes that we're seeing within here. Now, one thing to remember, guys, is if you are unfamiliar with Yennefer, she actually has this orb that blocks enemies from going back here. It'll actually kick them out of here um, when they get into the side. So that is the reason why you can kind of put everyone to the back. And with having everyone in the back, Brutus can keep them locked down pretty well, just like we're seeing right here, guys, until we get into some of the tougher stages, and I'll have to actually change up, and we'll look at a couple different ones. Now, I'm also going to leave a link down below um, for, for some of the teams, some of the variations of team comps as we get into them. Um, there is also a guide over on Reddit that a player created that went through a lot of the information. I haven't seen it, but I heard about it. Um, but this works well, guys. This is actually something that I caught over on my, my guild board that said, hey, here are the team comps from the Chinese servers um, that are absolutely just dominating when it comes to these builds. And as we get to stage 15, guys, um, we will look at some different formations because they do change once you hit 15. So once you do hit that stage 15, moving into 16, there are a couple different formations. And look what Brutus does in here, guys. That is why we have said for a while, um, Brutus and his utility in formations, it, it's crazy. It, it is absolutely crazy to see the utility that he does bring. And I believe we're already nine. I think that was stage nine. Yep, so here is stage 10, guys. And again, we are driving this all the way to, um, all the way to 15. This is gonna work all the way to 15. And again, the variations, if you have Yennefer, um, if you have Ezio, um, definitely a, a build out. Even if you swap one of our dimensional heroes for another high damage dealer, um, it can actually work pretty well. Again, if you have Frampton in there, you can also sub that in for Rowan. Um, if you have the Awakened version of Solus, just because some of these heroes possess such a high dynamic power creep that you can still Take them down relatively easy with a couple of different formations. But one copy of Awakened Brutus, guys, you can get through a lot of this. You can yield a lot of the resources that we have in here. And we're just going to continue. Now, one hero, unfortunately, we don't really see in here is the Awakened version of Thane. Um, big reason for that, guys, is this particular game mode. Um, you actually can't kill the heroes fast enough. Now, Thane works off of... Um, him killing heroes with the wind shear ability. One of the, again, one of the big reasons why it really doesn't work um, is because of how he's built. So I'm sure there are some sages that you could probably put Thane in. Um, it, it would work with a little bit of RNG. But overall, guys, this is a very, very strong team. So for all the players that said, you know, we're, we're stuck at stage five, we're stuck at stage six, um, it might just be a little bit too early with the heroes. If you can pick up some of these dimensional heroes, and again, I know some of them do take, you know, well, all the dimensional heroes, just one single copy, guys. And I'm not sure if a garrisoned dimensional hero um, can work in here. Um, I'm going to have to check that. I'm not sure if, if that is a factor, if you can literally just garrison the hero and still make it work. But guys, Brutus is just a monster. Like we had said, guys, it is an absolute, absolute monster in this one. Here we go, taking down Audrey. So single stage is just about done. Getting into these double stages, guys. Now, there's also a lot of stages where players said that it was near impossible, um, even with these comps, even with these builds, um, to get three stars. So I don't know. I haven't done this. So this is literally the, the first time that I'm going through this game mode and I wanted to do it on the YouTube account because I have I think everybody at least unlocked so if we needed um Baden if we needed a couple other heroes we do have the ability to swap a couple out but again we have three solid options that come up in here 
Now I'm also going to look, so some of the other options, variations um, that I'm seeing again on, on another guide, so I'm going to let this go, is I'm um, running Tresnar with Rosaline, Scarlet Rowan, and Fane with the Wing Lion again. Wing Lion, guys, one of the biggest ones. So Rosaline following Scarlet, but looking at Tresnar and Fane, a lot of crowd control in there, um, a lot of damage. But I know a majority of players don't have Tresnar or Fane built. I don't have Tresnar or Fane. But again, having them unlocked, having one single copy will work. Also, the Awakened version of Thane with Ulna. Um, Vithuel, Halos, Halos, and um, Palmer will work as well. Again, kind of another um, variation to go 1 through 15. So you have a couple options. We have a couple options, guys. So here is 15. So 16, they're showing Taylene, Brutus, Halo, Scarlet, and Palmer running the Blade Ridge in this variation. So in the one that I'm looking at, it has this same comp running again with the Winged Lion. So again, two, two variations in there, which I can cover both of them. Let me put them kind of, I'm going to put them up on this side. I, I know you can probably see it just a smidge of it on that side, um, but I'm trying to get both of the guides up. That way I can see them both at the same time, guys, so we can actually do the split screens on the side and check them both out. So Awaken Taylene, Awaken Brutus, Halos, Scarlet, and Palmer um, will work for 16. And then I also have this combination in a little bit of a different formation. So again, I'll, I'll run through and I'll show you the variations of the formations. So in this one, we're running Brutus and we're running... Um, Running Joan, Brutus, running the same comp. So literally just the same comp right here for 16. Now the other variation is Taylene and Brutus. So the Awakened version of Taylene and Brutus. Um, it has Halos. It has, we have Halos, Scarlet, and Palmer. So let me try that combination. So we'll go with Halos. And again, guys, you only need the one copy. Halos, it has Scarlet, and it has Palmer. So again, guys, a lot of damage amplification, and they're actually running the Blade Ridge in this one. So I'm gonna drop in the Blade Ridge. Let's see if we can do this. And again, I have both guides up on the side. Um, so I can see, again, some variations in how exactly they're gonna work. There we go, guys. Taylene goes down pretty early. The Scarlet goes down too. And I know even here, um, I have Blade Ridge built up a little bit, which is good, but it looks like we're gonna win it. I'm not sure within, I think the requirements are, are timers and a couple other things. So one, two, three, so win the battle, win within 75 seconds with fewer than two dead, which we did. Your allied beast uses its skill at least three times. So there we go, guys. So that is our first stage that is at number 16. So next stage, looking at 17, same thing, active skill three times, 75 seconds. So challenging in here, guys, two comps within 17, Awaken, Taylene, Brutus, Halo, Scarlet, Palmer, identical. Identical one that we just seen. Variation of that is, of course, the other one that I was running, but I will show you. So we'll swap out some of these heroes. So this other variation is running um, the dimensional hero. So we have Elbeto in here. So we have Brutus. We have Elbeto within here. And then we have Joan. Again, it's the, the same one. Pretty much the same. So stage 17. We have Brutus and we have Albedo. We have Halos in Merlin. So again, showing you some formations. We're going to put Albedo in here. We're going to be running a Merlin and Ezio. So again, just like you've seen before, guys, we'll have Merlin. We'll have Ezio in here. This is one team formation that we're seeing. Also swapping these two around and running Joan instead of Halos. So if you don't have... Hey, loss, you can actually run Joan in this formation, um, just like we've seen before. So putting Joan on top, Merlin in the middle, Ezio, and all of these are running the Grassy Orb. So interesting enough, guys, they are running the Grassy Orb in here. The other 17 is Taylene, Brutus, Halo, Scarlet, Palmer, which of course is the beginning one we've seen. So I'm going to try this one out, see what we can do with this one. And I love Merlin's alt right off the bat. We have Joan, of course, going right to the enemy side, which Ezio went down pretty quick in there. So I'm going to have to see if we can do this even with Ezio down, which it looks like it, guys. Again, Brutus just being Brutus. It, it, it is just an absolute monster. Toss and rowing around. They got some pretty decent heals in there. 
but I'm not sure losing Ezio on this one early if that's gonna if we're gonna be able to do this. Because of course, of course, we have the immunity right there in the bottom. They're trying to take down Mahira up there. But I don't think we're gonna meet the, the timer requirement in this one. And again, I'm just kind of playing around with the formations in here. Um, so we got it down, but I don't think, or we ran out of time on that one. So let's switch up the formation. Let's put Ezio's in here. Let's drop out Joan. I'm gonna put Halos in here. And there we go. So we'll go, the one with Halos has Brutus here, and then we have Albedo, Merlin. There we go. So this is the one, and again, they're running the Grassy Orb. Not sure the, the purpose between the Grassy Orb short of the crit, but Halos is gonna give Brutus, of course, a big, big buff rate in the beginning. And I think the RNG factor was Ezio dying in that one, because of course, Ezio is gonna be the finisher, guys. So as we see Ezio um, alt, he's gonna go around and literally just finish off targets as Brutus does get them low. But even there, he died early on that one. And Halos just went down. I'm wondering some of these formations for 17. I'm gonna try the Awakened Brute or Tailing and Brutus. So let's try the Tailing and the Brutus. So Tailing Brutus, um, Tailing Brutus, Halos, Scarlet, and Palmer. We need Scarlet and we need Palmer in here. And then of course this one is going Blade Ridge. So let's drop Blade Ridge in here. We've got the big buff there on Brutus. Now, of course, Brutus over there for the crowd control, but see, Scarlet went down early. Not sure if Palmer is going to do or, or have enough damage amplification to take down these targets, but of course, Taylene comes back up, guys. And again, if you got that one copy of Taylene, it uh, makes a big, big difference in here. Palmer's still pumping up the damage amplification, though. There we go. Hendrick went down pretty quick on that one. So everybody stacked up there on Mahira. I think this one might get it. Mahira, of course, guys, really, really big with the healing. One, two, three. There we go. That was very, very close, guys. All right, so that is 17. Let's look at 18. So same 75, activate three skills. All right. So here is 18, guys. Let me see. So 18, we have Brutus and Joan. Again, we're going to go with a couple different variations. So we have Brutus and Joan within this formation. So Brutus and Joan, Merlin and Vithiel, which Vithiel I do not have. I don't even have one copy of him. So that's not going to be an option. Um, so let's see some of our other options, guys. We have Albedo. This one's going to be interesting. So we have Albedo and Brutus. Albedo and Brutus. Um, then we're going to go with Merlin. As you can see, guys, most of these are pretty much the same. Palmer and Ezio. And again, Ezio seems to be dying really, really fast in these formations. And then both variations say to go with the Puffball. Players are also running um, Joan and Brutus, just like we've seen with Pharrell. The Awakened Taylene and Oden. And also a variation is Mishka with the Awakened version of Brutus. Solus, um, Kayleen, and actually Nevi in there as well. And looking at the debuffs here, guys, they said run the puff ball. The, all variations are running the white, white puff ball because he is actually going to take away some of the debuffs in there. And of course, Palmer in here, guys, for that damage amplification. Ezio ults pretty early, which is good for the killing aspect, guys. Brutus can get them low, but we have to make sure that we kill them at a time. So that stage was easy. That was actually a, a pretty easy progression in there. All right, so stage 19. So 19, we have Albedo, Brutus. And again, just kind of the same. We have Albedo, we have Brutus for 19. We have Merlin. We have Halos and then Ezio. So actually dropping out Palmer in this one. Putting Halos in here, which he is right there. And then it says, using either the Dreary Ball or the Winged Lion. I'm going to pop the Winged Lion in here. Now, some variations for 19 um, run this exact same, except dropping out Halos, putting in Merlin. Um, we also do have one, this exact same one. Then we also do have 
Um, Joan with Brutus, Halos, Scarlet, and Aziz with the Dreary Ball, which is kind of an interesting combination. Let's see what we can do in 19. There again is the mitigation. We have Halos up for the shields. We have Brutus up for the shields. Then, of course, Brutus gets that big, big attack boost, guys, from, from um, Halos in here. And we just got to get him low, and hopefully Ezio can finish him. Still love his insta-kill, guys. And I think that's too many heroes down. I think we can only lose two. Is it two? One, two, within 50. Yeah, fewer than one dead. So we got to really do some. Um, let's try it again. Now that said wing line or the dreary ball. Let me drop in the dreary ball. Let me see if this makes a difference. I'm sure the pets do make a difference, guys. And look how fast these pets alt. So there's the dreary ball. Again, we want Ezio to alt. Boom, taking out Hodgkin right there. Getting him low as well. I believe Kren's going to go down in a second. Just need an alt from Ezio. There we go. So Dreary Ball worked a lot better in here than the Wing Lion, guys. And we just got a stack over here to the dodge factor. Boom, there we go. So that should be it for 19. So getting into 20, guys. Getting into a lot of the... Tougher stages at this point. All right, so here we are, 20. Let's see our variations in here. Uh, Brutus, Ezio, so let's go Brutus, Ezio. Uh, so 20, we have Brutus, Ezio, Yennefer, Joan, and Elbeto. So Yennefer and Joan are the two that we're going in here. So let me drop in Yennefer, and I'll drop in Joan. And let's look at a couple of variations in this one. This one actually says stage 20 with the wing lion. Um, some variations for this. So we do have Brutus and Albedo in here with Merlin um, with the dreary ball. Or excuse me, with um, the, the white puff ball, but it runs Mortis and Halos in here. Also same variation, Brutus, Albedo, Merlin. Then the, the position four and five variation. Um, we have Mortis and Halos for one. We have Scarlet and Joan for another. We have Awakened Version of Solus and Ezio, and then Ezio and Halos. I'm going to try this one. See if we can get this one done with these formations. And of course, guys, right off the bat, Granite marks everybody up. Ezio, we need an early alt. So Ezio can just start finishing off some of these targets, guys. And of course, Joan providing some stunning with that E60. But we have everyone stacked in the back. We have Alero in the back as well. Kind of funny seeing him. But it looks like, see, we lost a couple targets in there. Brutus is just getting thrown around in the back. That one, let me see. So Brutus, Ezio, Yennefer, Joan, and Albedo. Yennefer, Joan, and Albedo. So that is what we put in there, then running the weak lion. Let me see. I'm not sure if these have an RNG aspect in here. But I want to try it one more time. Joan, of course, going right to the back line. Um, she needs to drop that stanchion. There we go. It's down. Of course, guys, the alts are not happening because we have Oden in here. He's, he's a nightmare. Look at that. All right, guys, let's try some different formations in here. So this one, we're running Brutus Albedo. So I'm going to swap out Albedo. Um, we're going to put Merlin back in here like we had before. Then I'm going to go with Mortis. So Mortis in here and Halos. So we're going to have double buffers in here. So Mortis and Halos. So this is one of the first formations. And again, they're running the Puff Ball. And it shows all of them are actually running um, the, the Puff Ball in here. So again, if we can get Mortis to alt, guys, it's going to be double buffs up on Brutus. There we go. Brutus has both buffs, which means, guys, a big, big damage amplification for him. I still love how he is built, guys. Well, Halos goes down with granite right there. But everybody's up there. But look at him, guys. Damage is not moving over here.
See, I'm, I'm kind of questioning some of these formations here. And I believe this is why players said that this game mode has been just absolutely crazy. So now we also have, I'm going to try, I'm going to just literally go down. So this has a Scarlet in there and then it runs Joan in the bottom. So let me drop, um, let me drop Joan in here. And again, it shows it's still running the puffball. I know Scarlet, if we can get Scarlet to all guys, puts out a lot of damage really fast. Which Joan dropped the stanchion pretty quick. There's the Scarlet Alts. Brutus can put them together, guys. Scarlet can just rain. It looks like a couple targets, guys. Even looking at Estrilda is literally on zero life in this formation. Gonna be close if we can get these left. Look at this, guys. We can't even get through. Can't even get through the shields in here. Wow, Brutus is not getting through here at all, guys. Let's try Solus and Ezio. And again, I'm literally just going through the formation. So Solus, and then we'll go with Ezio in here. I'm wondering if they're going to be able to keep, if Solus is going to be able to keep um, Ezio up. That seemed to be the issue before. Boom, there's the alt. So Ezio took out Warwick in that one. Ezio ulted again. The Solus didn't even ult, but I think we just took out another target right there. Who do we got left? I think it's just Granite. If we can work him down a little, I think we got it that time. Two died. I think we can only have one. Yeah, fewer than one dead. These are some tough trials, guys. These are really, really some tough trials. And again, it says Dreary Ball. So the other one is Ezio and Halos. So actually dropping um, the Awakened version of Solus out, dropping Halos in. Then the other one, Brutus, Ezio, Yennefer, Joan, and Alberto with the Winged Lion. We tried as well. That one didn't seem to work. Oh, did we try the next stage? I think, I think we didn't do the retry. I think we might have went to the next stage. Well, there's there's a team. LIBs uh, causes a controller limitation. Let me see. I think we, yeah, I wanted to go to twenty and do that stage. So let me see, Ezio. I apologize. I, I wanted to see if we could get 20 down. I'm trying to get him with three stars, guys. Again, Ezio in here. We know Ezio's going to get a big buff now from Halos. We go. Ezio took out Estrilda. Should be right there. And again, I know with some of them, it, it seemed like some of it was just kind of the RNG factor in there. But again, we got to take Oden down. There we go. Den went down. We got Alero up there. I think we got it, guys. I think we got it with only one death. One, two, three. There we go, guys. Three, three stars on that one. All right. So the same team beat out, um, what is this, 2021? 20, 21. So 21. We have, again, we have Alberto, Brutus, Ezio, Merlin, and Halos. Um, with Vespero, so so a little bit different in there. Let me swap these two. We'll go with Ezio, Merlin, and they're doing Vespero. So Vespero, there we go. Let's try this one, guys, for three stars on this one, and then we'll look at twenty-two. And it's funny because he's a pet that I never use. Um, but look at that. Level six abilities on these pets, guys, are huge, are, are absolutely huge.
Looks like they were just getting wrecked in this one though. So not even close on that one. Um, let me see what we got. So Awaken Brutus, Awaken Taylene. I'm gonna try this. So Awaken Brutus, Awaken Taylene, SP of Brutus. Good. Uh, Awaken Brutus, Awaken Taylene, Aziz, Joan, and Albedo. This has Aziz, Joan, and Albedo. The original Aziz. Aziz, a Joan, and Albedo. So Joan. And of course, Albedo, guys, like I said, Albedo is such a very, very strong hero. And this has Talisman. So there is Talisman. Let's see what this looks like. Look at Talisman. Oh, or, or Talisman, excuse me. Talisman, um, AoE effect right there. Looks like a little cute kitten just in here following, um, I think Brutus. I think he's actually following Brutus in here. So Talus Mane, as in like a lion mane. Look at it, guys. It looks like nothing's like moving in here. But he's got the little firecracker in there. So Warwick goes down. Warwick, of course, being just a huge pain in the butt all the time. Talus Mane keeping everyone literally together in this little tiny stack. I think we're going to run out of time on this one. Yep, I don't think we're going to have enough to bring anyone down. So, of course, guys, the energy disintegration up here. All right, so let me see. 21 with three stars. See, another formation that we have. So 21. Yeah, this is, this is the one for 21. Let me try it one more time again to see if there is kind of an RNG aspect in this. Even there, guys, we get Joan. Boom, the stanchion's down, which is good. Means we got the crowd control. Ellis Main doing what he does. But again, the energy disintegration right here, guys. Look at the fear. Literally, Brutus is running away back here. So it does kind of play out different. I don't, I don't think it is all the RNG because, again, last time we didn't have the heroes. So, so I think it is um, a little bit of an RNG factor in here. I don't think it's set battles. And, of course, Taylene's going to go down because everyone's just going to go ahead and wreck all right, guys, let's try some different battles in here. Um, now, this one kind of interesting. So this has Brutus with um, Scrag. So pretty interesting there. And then we have the Awakened version of Solus with Honesta, which, of course, is going to have some pretty good protection. And it has Halos. So this, again, another formation. And this is 21. So this is running Spiro as well. Let's see what this one does, guys. Of course, we got the buffs going up on um, the Awakened version of Brutus, but we also have Scrag's buffs as well. Yeah, this one's not, not looking so good. Let me try the RNG aspect of this. One more time and let me see. Yeah, we're still in 21. I, I had to make sure that we're in the right one. I believe to get the rewards, you only have to um you only have to clear stage 15 to get the regular rewards. But I want to say when it comes to getting all of the other rewards, you do have to, to have to clear much further. Okay, we took out Heroes up here pretty quick, but definitely not making um that much of a difference. All right, so let's look at another um, variation again. So this one runs Baden and Ulna. Now this is a pretty interesting combination. So Baden and Ulna, um, Solus, Nevi, and Desira. So the awakened version of Solus, Nevi, 
and desirable. So just literally a bunch of mitigation in here. And this one, they're actually running the Fire Breather. Again, AOE, no healing. Of course, we have a lot of tanking ability in here. The Ulna went down pretty quick, even for this variation. See, not, not to, um, not doing too good on this one. And this is where a lot of players were saying, um, that, that 21 was incredibly, or honestly, past 15 was incredibly, incredibly difficult, um, to get through. Let me make sure we have the Awakened Baden, that he is actually running his SP effect, which he is. All right. I'm thinking, let's, you know what? I'm going to go back to Brutus, just because Brutus is such a monster, guys. And again, we're running Brutus's SP effect in here. Brutus, Taylene, Aziz, and Joan. I like this formation. I think we can get it done. And then Albedo. And again, the running talisman in here, which is a pretty interesting combination. But I've tried, I've tried all the variations that we have here for 21. This might be one that we're just going to have to um, come back and revisit because you can see, guys, the energy in here is, is zero. We, we have nothing in here energy-wise because of their pet. Literally, it gets zapped anytime that it comes. And even Aziz being an energy battery, I mean, we're not even moving to be, to be able to actually alt anywhere on here. But might just be two stars on this one because, again, we went and we tried, um, tried all of the, the battles in here. So that is 21. Let's see 22. 22, 22 is Brutus, Albedo. So we have Brutus, we have Albedo. Um, Solus, Joan, and Palmer. So Solus, Joan, and Palmer. So Solus, Joan, the Awakened Virgin. Solus, Joan, and then Palmer. And this is running Puffy Ball, so White Puffy Ball. And then making sure we have Brutus's SP effect, which we do. Let's see if we can do 22. Almost seems like some of these stages are almost delayed in the back. Buffy Ball, of course, going to be able to eat some of the debuffs on there. There we go, there's Solus's ult. Again, there, there we go, we got Nara down, which is good. That's one, one down. Look at Aziz, guys. Literally trying to take this target down. Got him down, though. Or no, he's still there. He is still up. Bell Bello coming out of the back, guys. Got the healing pet in there. I think we might run out of time on this one. We're not even getting through the shields on this one, guys. Yeah, they are just a monster to get through. So variations, we have this one. We have Ezio with Merlin and Halos. Let's see Ezio, Merlin with Halos. Because of course, guys, Halos is going to buff us up right at the beginning. And again, this is running the White Puffy Ball. Got the buffs right up there on Brutus. I think if we can get him low, guys, we can negate some of this healing as long as we can get Ezio to alt. Ezio alting in this, of course, is going to be huge. He's literally right there. Boom, there's the alt. I think we took out a target. Shh, 
shielding aspect in here is incredible to try to get through here. High level pets, guys. Hard to get through. Literally, it's like right there. So Ezio took him out. Ezio took out Hodgkin, which of course was providing a lot of crowd control in the formation. But again, not going to be enough to take it down. A lot of these formations, guys, um, again, it might just be some of that RNG factor. Yeah, it even says in here that, that this, um, this game mode is incredibly difficult in respect to last game modes, which there, guys, Ezio went down early in this one. Between the last two, we're, we're not going to have the finisher. But maybe, but I think we lost, we lost two. Thought we could only lose one. But we did get through it. All heroes alive. Wow. Picked up some diamonds in there. So what, what do we have? A couple more stages. So 23. Let's look at 23. 23, same. We have Albedo. We have um, Alos in top. And we have Merlin. And then dropping him out and actually putting the Awakened version of Solus in there. And let me see. Um, Solus, that says Orthos in here, which is pretty, pretty crazy, guys, if, if you got Orthos in here. Let me run this. I'm going to do two tries with this one. And again, this one is saying if you have a level 12 Bell Bello, which we do not, she's only six. Um, going to make a big difference. I, let me try it. Let me try it with six. I'm going to give it two attempts on this one. See what we can do. Because we're fighting the owl in this one. Need Solus to alt, which unfortunately she didn't. Bresnar is pretty tough to deal with, guys. And they have Merlin and they have Nemisu. A pretty tough team overall to kind of deal with. But it even says in here, guys, um, Heavy, heavy RNG. Some of these battles, again, heavy RNG. Seems like it's just going to be about retries in here, guys. Get these done. And again, I don't know if the level 6 Bell Bellow is going to really make a difference. We'll try some sub formations in here as well. Of course, another one is Brutus running with Screg again. And we do have Halos. Interesting, so running with Screg. And then running actually with Frampton, which Frampton can be subbed in for Rowan. Um, let's see, so this one actually uses the white, white Dreary Ball, but we already started. Let's see what we can do in this one. And of course, this is kind of an invade team, guys. We have Frampton, we have Brutus, we have Screg. Um, Kind of a mini invade team trying to keep probably everyone together in here. Which again, with the debuffs that we get. Just getting wrecked, guys. Even Brutus just stuck right there in the sky. Let's give it one more shot and we'll give it with the three ball. Very ball recommended, but it says again in here, um, very, very high RNG. Just like some of these formations, guys, the, the RNG effort in here is very high.
just getting crushed in here. Again, Brutus, Greg, Halos, Frampton, yep. This is it. The, these are the teams that have worked, guys. And I can try Orthos in here. We have, what, two more stages after this. And again, it's the time stop of the Owl. Got Solus to ult, which is good. But then she died. Look at the power of the pets, guys. All right, let's try the happy RNG, which I don't even know. The Sol Solus, Waken Solus, um, Anasta, a loss. So putting Anasta in here. And again, it says this one, guys, is very, very heavy RNG. Solus and then Orthos. Orthos, of course, has his own time stop in here. And then Brutus, of course, being the SP effect with the white ball. We'll give this one a couple tries as well. I mean, a lot earlier alt right there. And if we can get Orthos to alt, Brutus should continue to move. Yeah, we are just burning through our attempts in this, guys. And of course, if anyone stays in Orthos' aura, um, you actually get the same. You, you get the frozen effect in there. So I, I feel your pain with the difficulty getting through here, guys. We're going to do a couple more attempts. Um, I can show you the, the, the two last, the 24 and 25. But again, it, it seems like maybe having the pets a little bit of a higher level would make a big difference. Um, heavy, heavy RNG. And a lot of players have said, just kind of looking through here, that there is a ton of RNG. And a lot of players have just been stuck, stuck through a lot of this game mode, guys. So you're not alone. I feel the absolute pain in there getting through, which look, it might have this one, it might actually be able to, the Halos went down. I think we can't lose anybody. Even there's the immunity guys. Running with Leofric. Leofric of course provides that immunity in here. But can we win this one? No, we run out of time. Gorbo held us off. That was so close, though. We, we were so close on that one. Literally, if we had taken down uh, the Ninja Turtle, we could have done it. Of course, we didn't have Solus die early in that one. But then here, she usually does. Boom, Brutus got a lot of crowd control in there. Another ult. Going after Nemitsu. Again, Orthos is in the bottom, which it looks like Gorvo's almost dead. Of course, Gorvo just goes immune, guys, because of Leofric. We've got to have that RNG to take out Leofric. Wow, that is a pretty nasty combination. Definitely a tough game mode. Absolutely. Wanted a challenge and we got it. As much and as many players that didn't want the challenge, um, you kind of got it anyways. And even there, guys, Solus dies in the middle of her ult. 
and Halos just gets torn to shreds from Tresnar down there. Like a lot of it, they're just fighting off totems. Allied Beast grants a shield at least 16 times. Wow. Win with all heroes alive. I just want to win the battle, guys. This is a level 28 owl, which is incredibly crazy. Which again, it seems like this is just going to be the RNG to get this to click. Solus is going down early. I don't think it's going to work. Nope, I don't think. Let me try a couple other... Trying to think what else we could use in here because because orthos again we used a couple combinations i think again it is just going to be the heavy heavy rng aspect in here we're running the white puffy ball or running bell bello um this is utilizing merlin and solace and then of course albedo but even here i don't understand i guess the the reason between just having the two dimensional heroes in here um with the build that's going to be a big damage mitigation factor in there for merlin we know that of course tresnar just flies up there to rip halos apart which he does very well solace went down early on this one again Wow, guys, this is a lot tougher than I thought. But let's go ahead and we'll collect up our loot, guys. We got, what, two left. Beast rating, let's see what we can collect in here. Again, quite a bit of food in here. H2, 4... A lot of food out of here, but I think this is where we're talking about the only 15 stages um, is all you have to do in here to get this loot. But I thought when it comes to the loot down here, we got to get all 45. So we got 34. So we still have, what, three stages that we need more stars in. Um, I'm going to continue trying to farm them with the teams that we have. But this is crazy, guys. That that I mean, we got the Stargazer cards, not too bad. But I want to hit 45 out of here. Um, you can see a bunch of guildies or, or a bunch of uh, other friends that have already made it in here. But again, it, it seems like this is going to be pretty tough to get through, guys. So, all right. So that'll do it for today's video. I'm really hoping that some of the formations helped get through here. Um, I'm going to keep trying these. I have 29 chances left to get through these last, what, three stages. But then we have to three-star all of the other stages. So I'm hoping they might make an adjustment to this. So guys, again, that'll do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.